Hi guys, my name is Carla Gannum and I'm a middle school art teacher in Strongsville, Ohio. Today I'm going to show you a very cool effect where you can get a stained glass looking object out of just using black glue and oil pastels. So here is a before photo and then here are some examples of some 6th, 7th, and 8th grade middle school students that did this exact same project with stunning results. Now this is definitely a project that is achievable by lower grade levels as well. You just might wanna choose an image that's a little bit more simple to outline with the glue bottle. So the first thing that you're going to need is just an old box, something that you get in the mail, and you can cut it apart. You can use scissors or a box cutter. I like the box cutters if you have one at home. It's easy to make nice straight cuts, so you can make a nice uh, straight edge on your square or rectangle. So. You're going to choose whatever size you want. It doesn't matter. The bigger, uh, the easier, I think, to create these lines. So whichever size you want with the box that you have will be just fine. The next thing is your inspiration. So I went online and I found a beautiful picture of this monarch butterfly. And I liked the lines and the dots and I especially like the colors. So we'll get to the color blending next. You're gonna use a pencil to draw to sketch your image on the cardboard. And then these black lines are actually just made out of black glue that I made. So I made this black glue just by mixing a little bit of paint into white Elmer's glue. So I used acrylic paint. I've also used tempera paint in the past too. So whichever one you have should work fine. The last thing we're going to use is oil pastels. And these are usually good if you've ever had a um, Christmas gift with an art set. It usually comes with chalk pastels and oil pastels. So there's a variety of colors and these are super easy to blend on this cardboard. And this black outline kind of helps you to stay in the lines. So it looks really nice. And that's about it for the supplies. Let's get started. Here I'm just freehand sketching the butterfly onto the cardboard using a pencil. That way I can erase any mistakes if I make any mistakes and I will sharpie it when I'm finished. If you're not comfortable freehanding this, I'm gonna show you next a way that you can transfer this image onto the cardboard. You'll just need to make sure that your printout is the same size or smaller than the cardboard, ideally smaller. I'm going over everything with a regular Sharpie marker and I will even color in the areas that are gonna be black so that I know when I'm putting the glue on which areas to make thicker lines and which areas I'm gonna use the oil pastel on. Notice I'm coloring in the background of the edges black. Now, if you wanna transfer the image, the first step is to use the side of your pencil to kind of scribble all over the back of your image. I'm just going over the areas where I can see the butterfly outline, so make sure you get every outline, especially any left. You can see the pencil lines there at a, at a slight angle so you can see the lines that have transferred through to the cardboard. Now, now I'm gonna start my oil pastels. So I'm gonna choose the colors that I want, which are warm colors, the red, orange, yellow. And I'm gonna practice on a scrap piece of cardboard just to make sure that the colors blend well together and just to kind of get the blending down before I go on to my finals. So in order to blend these oil pastels, you have to overlap them and take one of the pastels and kind of smudge one color into the next one. After I blend with the oil pastel, I'll use my ring finger to kind of get rid of any of those crumbs and make sure it's all blended together. I'm ready to start my final using the same technique of blending the colors kind of where I see them in the butterfly. After I blend all of these warm colors for the butterfly, I'm going to start working on the background, first by choosing what kind of color scheme I want for the background. So since I chose all warm colors for the butterfly, I think to contrast that, the blues will look good for the background. I'll pick dark blue, a regular blue, and a medium blue. So I'm just kind of coloring in the background. And it's okay if you get a little bit on the black sharp because again, the final step would be to outline all of that in the black with blue. So, Go ahead and color the whole background in just like you did the inside. And it gets a little tricky towards the edges. My top and bottom aren't colored very well, so I will end up trimming those off probably at the end. For the glue, I just added some black paint to Elmer's glue and I'm shaking it up for a long time. Make sure I have the right consistency. Use your scrap cardboard for that. And then I'm just gonna go to town outlining everything with this black glue. So you have to be a little bit careful because it is runny. It is the same consistency of Elmer's glue. So slow your squeeze down or 
make sure that you're kind of working from an area that's going to be the majority black so you can kind of see how I'm starting at the inside of the body and working out and by the end of it I will end up you know not squeezing too much and just pulling glue from certain areas out into the the veins and the wings finishing up I'm just adding black to the areas where I want a thick black outline like the edges and the body of the butterfly and like I said, I'm just kind of spreading it around without squeezing any more glue out. There's plenty of glue and it's already filled in some of the holes that I didn't want it to. Thank you for joining us today for this fun tutorial. I hope you enjoyed yourself and follow along for many more tutorials to come.